drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And it is actually some Giants news. And it is not the best news. It is regarding the minor league rule five draft. We did get somebody, but also lost not somebody, but six somebodies, including Connor Menez. So this is the minor league rule five. And the reason that Connor Menez is gone is because he was actually DFA'd and ended up going to the minor leagues. He went through waivers, ended up getting optioned back to Sacramento. And the Giants have not protected him on their triple a roster this is like a 38 man triple a roster that you have to put guys on to protect them from getting drafted and this is the minor league portion of the rule five draft so they still held this they have not held the major league portion yet in which the giants have still protected several good players like elliot ramos and other guys but as for the minor league portion of the draft connor menez for whatever reason was not protected he was not put on the triple a roster and he has been claimed by the cubs so let's talk about the players that were lost because some of them were decent names prospects that i've been following but they haven't played that great so that's the good news but you never know it's possible at least one of these six players turns out to be pretty damn good in the big leagues and uh, we only have one hope for this particular minor league rule five draft and we'll definitely talk about him as well the san francisco giants lost six prospects in wednesday's minor league rule five draft and added just one most notable of the losses is lefty connor menez who was the fifth selection in the draft which ultimately went 51 players deep so he was taken by the cubs so connor menez is going to head to the cubs this is the only guy who has actually spent time on the major league roster with the giants and he has spent time on the roster for three straight years so giants fans are going to be familiar with this guy he had a 4.04 era 45 strikeouts 20 walks he had some good moments he wasn't terrible at all but was dfa'd in order to activate Tommy LaStella off the injured list. Cleared waivers, like I said, and it's kind of unfortunate. I, I liked Connor Menez, but that is baseball. You only have so much room. I'm surprised they couldn't find a spot for him, at least on the minor league roster, but it is what it is. He is heading to the Cubs. Meanwhile, with the 12th pick, the Giants lost right-handed pitcher Matt Seelinger, and uh, he heads to the Phillies. He was the player to be named later when the Giants sent Eric Kratz to the Rays in 2019. In double-A, he had a 3.07 ERA, 64 strikeouts in just 41 innings, 31 walks. A little bit wild, but his strikeout ratio has just been through the roof his entire minor league career. And I was really excited about this guy when we picked him up. I thought this was just an amazing get for someone like Eric Kratz, who was, you know, a 40-year-old catcher at the time. And with the Richmond Flying Squirrels, 3.07 ERA in 36 appearances, and another guy that I'm I'm honestly disappointed that we did not protect him, but I know you can't protect everybody. So if this was all that was lost, okay, but it goes on and on and on and on, unfortunately. And with the 15th pick, the Atlanta Braves selected John Nogalski, whom the Giants signed to a two-year minor league deal towards the end of 2021. And this is a guy who played a little bit with the Pirates this year, and he has some big league experience. But uh, the Giants had signed him to a two-year minor league deal towards the end of 2021, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But still, you know, someone there, a little bit of depth, and he is now going to be gone. So he's heading over to the Braves organization. He did hit 261 with the Pirates this year. Not bad at 111 at-bats, just one home run, though he's never ha been a guy with a lot of power. And he doesn't steal a lot of bases. He can work the count. He can get on base via the walk, and that's kind of he's kind of a far-hung guy in that way, but... You know, I just I don't think there's enough there to really worry about this. I, I don't think this is a guy who's going to turn out to be a big superstar unless he can develop some power, which he's never really shown, not even in his college career. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but not not the big not the biggest of deals right here that John Nagowski is gone. But next up is Vince Fernandez. I really like that name. Really like that name. He went across the bay with the number 33 pick. He is heading to Oakland. This is a 26-year-old left-handed hitter. Born in Livermore, California. Went to UC Riverside. He was picked up by the Giants in the Rule 5 draft last year in the minor league rule five draft now he's going to be heading to the a's but with the giants in double a hit 229 but at a 331 on base and again another guy who can work a walk hit 14 home runs this guy has some pop if you go back to 2018 in high a with lancaster he hit 24 home runs in just 423 at bats he is a power potential bat 
This one definitely hurts, to, at least for me, a little more than Nagowski because this is Vince Fernandez, the guy I could see coming up and helping in, 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 the, in the big leagues. Maybe, you know, not being a everyday superstar type stud guy, but he definitely could be someone to fill in. I mean, you know, he could turn into, I don't know, Austin Slater-ish kind of maybe, or maybe not that good, but still somebody who could help out, who could fill in here and there, you know, depth. And who knows, maybe he could become really good and, and, and really develop that power and hone in on that and become a good big league player. This is one of the guys who I think has that potential, but he's heading to the A's. So Vince Fernandez, see ya. And then the Pittsburgh Pilot Pirates grabbed a guy that definitely most, of, most Giants fans have probably heard of, known about, and that's Jacob Gonzalez who is the son of former big leaguer Luis Gonzalez. He was a second round pick back in 2017. It was a pretty big deal at the time, but he is gone. And in all those years, 2017, 18, 19, 21, he has only made it as high as high A. And this year with Eugene, he hit just 174 with just one home run in his entire minor league career. He's only hit 251 and has just 27 home runs and over 1,300 at bats, 322 career on base percentage in the minors. And, and I just hasn't really turned out to be as good as, you know, most of us hoped. So ultimately, I think it's time to say goodbye, Jacob, because he never made it to double A. I would have liked to see, you know, him get a shot in double A, but after hitting under 200 and you know, hitting 174 in high A, it wasn't really going to happen just yet. He was probably He's probably going to start next year in high A. But now he'll be with the Pittsburgh Pirates organization, and a best of luck to him. Best of luck to him there. But this is definitely not Luis Gonzalez. This is—he's uh, not looking like he's going to be a big league star at this point. And the last one's a super interesting. Uh, and there's the jersey right there. You want to pick up a custom jersey with a major league baseball player's name on the back? You can do that, and MLB will profit off of that. Although. They won't put the picture, the players' pictures on their website. No, 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 no. Interesting. But the Giants lost right-handed pitcher Don, uh, sorry, John Duplantier to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but he, he's someone the Giants just, and I mean just, signed. Uh, five. I saw it. I thought about making a video. I was like, ah. And uh, before I could even decide to make a video, he's gone. So he is heading out to the Dodgers organization, and this guy is a 27-year-old righty who actually appeared in the big leagues with the Diamondbacks this year. He had four starts, and in those four starts, he threw 13 innings, gave up 19 hits, 19 runs for a ERA of 13.15, so not great, but, you know, not, not a ton of, of experience. His best year, you got to go back to the minor leagues, 2018 in double-A. He was 5-1 and one with a 2.55 ERA, 74 innings pitched. He struck out 77 that year, mostly with the Jackson Generals, in the Diamondbacks organization. So he's shown some stuff. And if you go back a little farther to 2017 in single A, he was 12 and 13 with a 1.39 ERA, 165 strikeouts and 136 innings. Uh, this dude showed some serious stuff in the low minor leagues and he was a big time prospect, but he hasn't really developed into a uh, showing that at the higher levels of the minor leagues and especially not in the big leagues yet. But, uh, He's got something. There's something there with this guy, and I was a little bit excited. That's why I thought about making a video, but obviously he's heading to the Dodgers. So I really do think that there is a possibility that at least one of these guys, I don't know which, one of them will become a decent big leader. It could be Vince Fernandez. It could be John Duplantier. It could be uh, John Nagowski. It could be Seelinger. It could be multiple. It could be, uh, you know, Connor Menez has already shown to be a decent big leaguer uh, out of the bullpen, but um, the only thing I can say about it is the Giants picked up somebody. If you want a consolation prize, the Giants have added an outfielder. Michael Gigliotti is how I think you say his name. So Michael Gigliotti, left-handed outfielder from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, has not played in the big leagues yet, has not played above a ball. He's kind of a speed guy, stole 36 bases in 2019 in the minor leagues, hit 282 that year with just one home run and 337 at-bats. And then 2021, his most recent year with the Tampa Bay Rays organization, hit 228, but just played in 27 games. Can work a walk, 380 on base percentage. Definitely feels like he profiles more like kind of a leadoff guy or just a speed guy who gets on base, can steal bases, can hit some for a little bit of, a little bit of power, but nothing, nothing special. Nothing. He's not going to hit. You know, doesn't look like a 20 home run type. But you know, it, it's it's a decent pickup. And you know, this article says that 
He was picked up from the Royals. 25-year-old left-handed hitting and fielding outfielder with lots of speed. His back is sorry. His bat is lagging behind his legs, arm, and glove. Hit just 203 last year in high A, albeit in 74 plate appearances. So there you have it. That is the final analysis here for our rule five minor league draft pick i say overall you'd have to say this is a complete fail uh epic meltdown here but uh not the biggest of deals again as far as it affects the major league roster it doesn't affect it that much but it could have future implications if any of these guys that were lost end up being really good and of course if gigliotti ends up being really good and helping at all which is frankly kind of unlikely but uh, we'll have to wait and see so that's my thoughts on it i'd say overall if you have us to grade this for the giants i'd give it probably a d um just because we lost six guys including someone like Connor menez who's actually helped recently and all we got is gigliotti and i'm not saying he's gonna suck but i'm just saying he doesn't look like someone is gonna be a major game changer although i could be wrong on that but at best i don't know maybe just a speedy outfielder who, uh, you know, comes off the bench or something like that. Right now, that's what I see. But uh, could be wrong, and I hope I am. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. Have a fantastic day. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think of the Rule 5 draft. The minor league portion, anyway, because there ain't no major league portion because major leagues are completely locked down. We'll talk to y'all later. Please subscribe. Peace. When the Giants come to town, it's fine.